Good morning, it's Friday the 3rd of April and because it's Friday I thought we'd have a go at some spellings. So year ones, you're experts at this, you know exactly what you need to do. Year R's, it's new for you, have a go if you feel confident, if you feel ready. Okay, so year R's, your spellings for this week are Butterflies, your spellings are and bees, your spellings are Okay, there are loads of different ways you can practice your spellings. I'm going to show you a few ways on the whiteboard now, um, but there's loads of ways where you can get out of the house, you can be creative, you can also work on that fine motor skill and those finger strengths, which is really important for everybody. So, if you want to have a go on a whiteboard, one way you could do is triangle spelling. So I'm going to practice with the word the, just as an example. So, to do triangle spelling, you need to draw a triangle. My word is the, and I know that the, is a T. I'm drawing it with lead-ins just so the year ones can see lead-ins. Here ours, you don't have to do lead-ins just yet. Um, the, so the, I'm going to put a T top because the starts with a T. Can't use my sounds because it's a tricky word. And then I know on the next row I'm going to do one, two letters. T, H. And on the third row I'm going to do three letters. T, H, T. There we go. And I've written my whole word and I've practiced it and it builds up each layer. It's quite cool. Obviously, if it was a longer word, I'd need a slightly bigger triangle and it would have more layers. Another way you can practice your spellings is with flower spelling. So you could write your word that you're practicing inside the middle of a flower. And the amount of petals depend on how many letters it has. So it's not going to have very many petals that's through my flower. One, two, three, and maybe a little stone as well. And uh, on each petal, what do you think we're going to put? The letters. So, C. The. Another way you could do your spellings is with dots, so you could write the word dotty. So, T H E. Can you see the word? Oh, I haven't crossed my T. Can you see the word? You could join it up as well if you want to. One final way you could do is boxed up spelling, so writing your word. The, and then drawing a box around it, put it in a box. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice way to see the shape of the word, especially for tricky words. It's useful to get that shape um, in our memories. Okay, here's four different ways you can practice your spellings, but here are even more ways you can practice your spellings. Okay, so that was task A. Task B is to use your spelling words in a sentence. Now, I know lots of you love to challenge yourselves by writing sentences. Me too. Now, year ones, you will know the stamper very well. Here's a quick reminder. That's the stamper. And we use that to help us remember what a sentence needs. So the first symbol on the stamper is to say your sentence. So I'm going to use the words am and on from my spelling list today am on and i'm going to say the sentence i am on a bed because i can spell those words using my sounds so i'm going to write the sentence i am on a bed i am on a bed that's five words so i'm going to write five words all together with finger spaces in between my words okay i is my first word i am but I is my first word, so, oh, I know how to write I, it's just a capital I, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, am, I, am, am, okay. Oh, but before I write my next word, what do I need to leave in between? A finger space, a finger space. Am, I, am, 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 I am on, I am on, I am on, oh. Another finger space. Beautiful. Often. Often. I am often. A. Or oh, A is that word that's just an A ah on its own, isn't it? I am on A. Uh, needs a finger space again. Ah. I 
I'm on a bed, b e d, bed, bed, b b b e d, d b e d, bed. I am on a bed. Oh, what goes at the end? A full stop. Thank you. A full stop. Just a little. Not a football. Just a tiny little full stop. I am on a bed. If you want to, you could put the sound buttons underneath. I am on a bed. I am on a bed. There you go. And there is your sentence. You've said it out loud. You've got finger spaces. It starts with a capital, although that word is always a capital wherever it is, um, because it's a proper noun. And it ends with the punctuation that we want, a full stop. OK, so you can practice your spellings in a sentence. See if you can do an even better one than me. Um, I bet you can. OK. Task C today is to have a spelling test. It's Friday. We have our spelling test every Friday. So year ones, you know exactly what you need to do. No problems there. Year ours, if you're feeling confident, you could have a go at a spelling test too. You don't have to, but you might want to just have a go see what it's like. And finally, because it's Friday, I thought we'd have a little bit of our own little celebration about your learning that's been going on this week. So I've just been so impressed by the hard work, by the focus, the concentration, the challenging yourselves that's been going on at home. And I just wanted to celebrate that. So here's a little celebration just for you. for today. After today it's the two week Easter holidays so you won't be getting a daily learning message for two weeks because it's the holidays but after then you will be getting daily messages again and I'll be back same as normal with a new topic. It's called wild things and you will be getting a little homework grid um, for you to do if you choose to over the Easter holidays so you can get started on it and you can still send me things through the email. I love to see them as you know. Okay have a lovely Easter everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.